Hey everyone, this is Ivan from Yellowfin, and in this video, I'll present some of the key highlights from the 9.1 release. In this release, we've introduced a new code widget for Yellowfin signals, bringing automated discovery capability to your dashboards. The signals product identifies critical changes in your data and surfaces those changes to you so you do not miss a thing. This code widget can also be filtered to only show signals relevant to the data on the dashboard so that the signals complement the report on the page. There are multiple filtering options here that allow you to do just that. Let's shift gears and have a look at a dashboard blueprint that was used to design this particular dashboard. For blueprints, we have added support for more charts including scatter plots, maps, hit grids, and overlay charts. Data analysts and business users collaborating on the same blueprint can simply click on the Create button and build a chart directly on the dashboard through Quick Charts. In 9.1, Quick Charts have been enhanced to include more auto configurations for each specific chart, speeding up the process but still giving you stunning charts. Let's see an example of that in action here. I'll select the week start date for the dimension and sales amount for the metric. And we get a weekly sales over time chart. You can tailor the chart with different properties here on the right. I'll just change the color to purple and break the chart down to account segments. You can also choose to switch on drills, time sliders and the like here. You can also apply filtering to these quick charts, for example, only returning sales from this particular brand. In scenarios where you need the advanced capabilities of our existing report builder, you can quickly go to it via the new advanced edit button. Not only do you have instant access to the underlying report and can perform additional chart customization here, but you can also click on a return to dashboard at the end, which brings you back to where you were keeping you in the flow. For dashboard owners, you can now set security permissions and share recipients without editing the dashboard. With this change, we have also made it really obvious what the privacy levels are and who the dashboard subscribers are as well. In Yellowfin 9, we introduce Yellowfin Present, allowing you to create compelling, governed data presentations using live and static reports videos, text, and more. In 9.1, you can now design presentation slides up front and save them as themes. This allows other users to reuse them in different presentations or utilize them in specific slides. We've also received some great feedback on dashboard action buttons during the beta, and now we've made them available on your Yelpin reports as well. Let's have a look at how you can apply them on the report. Select the column you want to have the action button on. I'll use premium category in this example. Select the action button formatter and configure accordingly. You can define the URL to point to something external or local to the system. You can also choose to have it open in place or in a new browser tab. Let's give this action button some display text and you can also choose to disable the action button once clicked. Now, if you are applying this action button on a real status field, which gets updated based on the results of this action, you can specify the values to listen to for button states. Now let's pretend that this column is actually one and we'll use the word value as a trigger for a successful action. And there you have it, action buttons on your Yellowfin reports. We have also introduced spark lines into reports through both an advanced function and column formatter. Let's have a look at how this is done. Spark lines show visual data trends over time, so you will need a date time column in the report for this to work. I'm going to use month start date here. Select the metric that you want to apply the spark line to. I'm going to go with sales amount. Click on advanced function, select spark line advanced function and configure accordingly at the bottom here. For example, selecting my month start date, Note that this is actually telling the function to aggregate sales amount by month start date for each product. Over here, you have options on how you want to treat potential missing values for the dates in your report. 
You can choose to ignore them, fill in with observed values, or use interpolation. I'm going to go with the third option here and tell the advanced function that my granularity is month. Lastly, for scaling purposes, you can choose to have the maximum metric value for this column to be the first data point in the array. This makes all the sparkline charts in a report to be scaled to the maximum value. Think how percentage of maximum works, and it works similar to that. I'm going to choose no for now. So we've now generated the sparkline array here for sales amount for each product, and the month start date column has gone blank because it's no longer useful. So let's hide that. I have my sparkline array, so let's now apply the formatter and turn that into a sparkline chart. You can specify the width, height, and whether you like it to be a line or bar chart. Let's choose bar for now. And voila, sparklines in your Yellowfin report in just a few clicks. And that's it for key highlights today. For all other enhancements and improvements in Yellowfin 9.1, you can view the release notes and change logs here and join the conversation in our community. Don't forget to check out our wiki and blog for more resources on the Yellowfin suite. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.